ми не хамагатали з ними. Життя триває, у нас двоє дітей. There are different experiences. There are different kinds of people. Our world. This weekend on the BBC News Channel and iPlayer. Hello, this is BBC News, and these are the latest headlines in the UK and around the world. In the UK, hundreds of thousands of workers, including school teachers, are going on strike for what will be the biggest day of industrial action in more than a decade. The UK government says most schools in England and Wales will be open, but the National Education Union says 85% of schools will be affected and calls for ministers to engage in talks. Rather than messing about and doing nothing, which is what they've done since last July, the government should get round the table now seriously and start to negotiate. We are having those wide-ranging discussions. What is not uh, realistic is for us to be looking at inflation or inflation-busting pay rises. Let me know your thoughts on today's strikes, whether you are affected by them or perhaps taking part in the industrial action. Get in touch with me on Twitter at Anita BBC and you can use the hashtag BBC Your Questions. In Myanmar, pro-democracy activists are urging people to stay at home and businesses to close to mark the second anniversary of the military coup in the country. In the UK, a four-year-old girl has died after a dog attack in Milton Keynes. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris will attend the funeral of Tyree Nichols today. The 29-year-old died after being beaten by several Memphis police officers during a traffic stop. And more than a million Catholics in the Democratic Republic of Congo have gathered for a mass celebrated by Pope Francis, who is on a tour of Africa. This is the scene live. Also coming up in Australia, the tiny radioactive capsule which fell off a truck on a desert highway is found. Hello and welcome if you're watching here in the UK or around the world. Hundreds of thousands of workers in the UK are going on strike in what's expected to be the biggest day of industrial action in more than a decade. Around 20,000 schools will be affected as teachers in England and Wales walk out for the first time since 2016.